Hey guys, it's Todd here. So today I'll be explaining the difference between a sample and the population. So when we talk population, we're thinking large. So population is the large, and sample is small. So a population doesn't need to be every possible observation of anything ever. When we say population, we're talking about uh, all of the items of interest in a given data set. So for above, I'll use this as an example. This is the temperatures for the month of February. So in the month of February, I had observed 28 possible observations of temperature because there are 28 days in February. So I've got 28 observations and 28 days. So because this encapsulates all of the possible observations for all of the possible days. This data set here, which has these 28 numbers, is what we refer to as the population. And it is the largest possible data set for the items which we are interested in. So when we're talking about a sample, it's exactly as it sounds. A sample is basically taking a selection, and it's usually done randomly, of our population. So I'll take a sample from this data set of temperatures, but it's not going to be random. So say I were to take every fourth observation. So I know we've got 28. I'll just number them. Twenty-eight. Sorry, that took a while. But after we've numbered them, if I take every fourth observation, so I take a sample comprised of every fourth observation. So this is what I'm going to take as a sample. The way I do this is go to my data set and I just grab out every fourth observation. This isn't random, this is a non-random sample because I'm specifically taking every fourth observation. So if I just take every fourth observation then I would be able to construct this sample. So I would have 22, which is my first observation. I would have this 10. I would have this 7. I'd have this 11. I would have this um, 22. I would have this 16. And I would have this 14. So I can take this sample so this is the fourth observation sample. And I can then work out a whole bunch of statistics for my sample, which is non-random. So I could say calculate the average for my sample, or the median, or the mode, or in the range. And I can compare those to the population and work out uh, any differences that might occur in samples versus the population. So just remember that when we're talking population, we're talking about large. It's the largest data set for all of our items of interest. So it contains every possible observation for our items of interest. And a sample is a smaller subset of our population. So if we were to do this visually, we would say have our population with all the possible observations. It's got all the observations in here. And our sample is just going to be a handful of this population. So this will be our sample. So I hope that's clear. Remember, it's not directly examined. It's just helpful uh, background knowledge. Thanks for that, guys.